All right, so there's been a ton of great news coming out for Churchill Capital, or also known as Lucid Motors, but I want to bring the potential short squeeze to your guys' attention today. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. We're 40 subscribers away from my goal of 3,000 subscribers, and also drop, drop a like on this video. Liking the video helps me out more than anything, so if you haven't already, make sure to drop a like. 100 likes is my goal on this video. So taking a look at the chart here, right here I have some trend lines drawn up. As you can see from the very top up here all the way down to our current trading range, we do see this short squeeze pattern forming on the 5-minute chart. This is going to be huge because I'm going to be looking at this very closely on Monday. I'm sorry, on Tuesday to see if we can break these trend lines right here and what direction it will be going. If it does break the bottom trend line, $26.70 looks to be our next area of support. And if it breaks that, I could see it go even lower. But I do, not, I do not want to see that happen because I do believe that there is a potential short squeeze that is forming here on CCIV. We've been talking a lot about this on my channel. Uh, it's something that we look at very closely. So going over to the short interest. So if we take a look at the short interest right here, we can see that 16.58% of the float is currently being shorted. And that is roughly around 34.5%. 29 million shares and the float is 206 million shares so what does this mean for you guys so 16 percent of the float which means that 16 percent of the people currently holding ccv are shorting the stock and that is actually quite a bit of shares that are currently being shorted and with the upcoming news on july 22nd of L ccv changing over to lcid which is going to be the ticker symbol for Lucid. That is going to change a lot of different viewpoints for a lot of different investors. Now they will know that they are 100% investing into Lucid Motors. And as well, on top of that, there's also been a ton of great news that has come out as well. Evercore recently made their way over to New York to see one of Lucid Motors studios, and they saw some very great things. They were extremely impressed with their product line, their vehicles. They said a ton of great things about the engineering behind their vehicles, as well as their CEO said they have exceeded 10,000 paid reservations for the Lucid Air, the electric vehicle model, which is absolutely astounding considering this company hasn't even released any of their cars to the market yet, only to a few potential investors. And we don't really know what direction this company is headed, but with all this great news, we do believe that this will be uh, very close to Tesla, if not even a better company than Tesla. So going over to my account, we can see that right here. We did take a dive last week of $40, but I'm currently holding these Apple puts over the weekend, hoping for a little drawdown in the morning. Uh, we are currently down $18 on these, and I do own two contracts for these as well. If you don't know already, we are doing a small account challenge, and I'd love for you guys to be a part of that, to follow along and watch my trades. We are up $88, or 57% in the past week. We did start roughly, excuse me, we did start roughly around $155. $155 and now we are at 244 uh, really working on my swing trades in different areas like that but if we go over to CCIV we can see that their options are relatively cheap and if we take a look at them here we can see that there is a ton of people holding these call options if we take a look at the $28 call options, we can see that the open interest is around $1,900. The $30 option, $6,500. But if we go over to the puts, there isn't as many people holding the put options. There's $1,300 holding these. And there is, oh, I'm sorry, there is $2,000 holding the $25 puts. Still kind of close, but the call to put ratio favors the call calls more than the puts right now. And this is huge because I do believe this stock could actually hit 40, 50, and even $60. We did see that nice push up last week, and we did see a breakout in this bearish trend right here, pivoting around $17.94. We have been covering the stock 
ever since it's been at its very low of $17.94. So if you guys don't want to miss out on these opportunities, I highly recommend you guys subscribing to my channel. It'll only benefit you and it is completely free. And I make these quick videos that are very informational right here on my channel. You don't have to pay for anything. There's also a free Discord linked in my description as well as pinned in the comment section below. Completely free. I go over what I'm watching in the pre-market during the day and in the aftermarket for the next day. And you guys will also see my PLs on the day first right there on my dis my Discord. So going into Tuesday, we do want to see nice volume come in. As you can see right here, in order to break this trend line and get a nice close above the trend line, we will need to see some momentum and a lot of volume coming in. I do know a lot of investors are watching this as well and a lot of retail investors are watching this too. So July 22nd, when we get that change over to LCID, it will be critical that we see people holding the stock and not selling it. I know July 22nd is fairly far out, but I do believe a lot of people will want to get into this stock early. Keep in mind, guys, I am not a financial advisor, and this is all for entertainment and education purposes only. Going back to the news for Lucid Motors. So Lucid Motors right now wants to go neck and neck with Tesla, and they believe, and even their CEO believes, that they could outgrow Tesla and be even better than Tesla. They have a ton of great people on their executive board, a great mechanical engineering team, and a great design team over at Lucid Motors, and they are making huge improvements every single day and expanding into foreign markets faster than they had expected but there's something that lucid motors does that tesla doesn't their cars are very expensive 161,000 for the air dream edition that is huge that is a lot of money you could buy a used lamborghini for that much money maybe not right now but in a couple months from now that's how much a used lamborghini would cost and that's roughly around four times the price of a tesla model 3 that is quite a bit more and they want to appeal more to the luxury vehicle market they want to be the tesla of the luxury vehicle market so there's a ton of great news coming out for this company but there's potential areas and risks that they may run into such as the demand for the product once the product comes out what will the demand be after people see this car out on the road and driving around and what if they realize hey this is not a hundred and seventy thousand dollar car their cheapest model starts at i believe sixty nine thousand dollars there is some potential issues they could run into there so ccv will definitely be on my watch list for tuesday and the potential short squeeze it may yield we dig over to that short interest data and we did see a nice push up right here but i do believe the shorts drove the price right back down to this trend area it did reach some some support right here following the trend line support right here so i do believe it could hold this support right here and we could see that breakout on tuesday thank you all for watching make sure you guys are subscribed and like the video more than anything that helps me out the most and i'll see you guys in the next video